napalm, son. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. And when the band plays hail to the chief. How can you shoot women, children? Easy. You just don't lead them as much. <laughs> All right, push this objective like you mean it. Push. Fuck it. I'm a lead bomb, my motherfucker. Go home, G.I. I kill you, G.I. Vietnam! Rising Storm 2 is a PTSD and NAM simulator that takes you to the place your grandpa goes every time you blast Call of Duty through the TV speakers. This game shows you exactly why America couldn't win the Vietnam War. We didn't have one-shot pickaxes. You play as either the Bushes or the Bush Shooters. Choosing which you want to be is really a question of, do you want to get scorched alive by enemy napalm or friendly napalm? Either way, at least you don't gotta worry about stamina bars because back in NAM, Patriot kept your lungs full and your limbs strong until a friendly grenade blows all of them off. It feels like I'm playing the good half of Apocalypse Now and the ending of Platoon in one beautiful package with a whole lot of bouncing bodies. This might just be my favorite Battlefield game yet. The only bad news is the developers took the rooftop helicopter off the Saigon Tower of maintaining this game a long ass time ago, so now it's like playing shuffleboard on the Titanic. It's still very fun, but if I get stuck in an LMG auto mount one more time, it's round two for Vietnam, and I'm gonna do that shit right this time, brother. If you get more closer to their spawn, get a mark for First, before I convince you to buy this game, warning, 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 do not use the quick match button. This shit is like walking through a jungle blind during the Vietnam War. That's a bush, that's a bush, that's a bush, achoo, die GI. Bam, that right there was a Viet Cong, and you're already dead. Y you get what I'm saying here? No? Okay, alright, I'll expand. To create that authentic Vietnam experience of having bushes jumping out of the bushes to threaten your life, the developers decided to leave up certain servers that have a reputation of calling in a napalm strike of great big asses and big old titties into your Steam browser. And I know you may be saying, well, shit, fleek. That sounds like a good Tuesday evening to me. Except it's not, because those titties aren't gift wrap presents private. There are Viet Cong hiding in that bush, waiting to give your computer your digital computer. AIDS. Tell me, Private, do you like AIDS? Do you want your computer to have it? Then shut the fuck up and don't play on the Mega Server. The Mega Server is a server that will spoof its player count so Quick Join will give it preference and send unexpecting GIs into an ambush of pornographic malware injections. I was one of those GIs. Except luckily, I was a low level maximum security noob using Epic Games. So every time Quick Join tried to throw me that way, the server kicked me out before I could actually make a connection. Still, when I found out how close I had flown to the sun, my mind was driven into a mania. But the scans show nothing, man, but I know they're out there, man. I, I know, I, I know. Drown it with brains! Drown it with brains! Die, you goddamn commies! Heed the warning of the seven-eyed fleek. Don't use quick join, and don't join Mega. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Now let's fire up that Vietnam War music playlist and get into the gameplay. You either play as, Screw you, G.I. I will kill you, G.I. Or, Hey, Charles, how come you ain't friendly like the girls back in Saigon? The G.I.s are an abbreviation for Giga Chad Infantry deployed by the good old US of A. The freedom bringers, the liberators, and the good guys. I think doesn't matter. GIs have the advantage of flamethrowers, helicopters, white phosphorus grenades, modern LMGs, pump shotguns, napalm strikes, bomber runs. Where the hell did he call that in? Oh shit! C4, this satanic Aussie gun, and more. Guns is their passion, and freedom is their hustle. And in the other corner, you have the VCs. That's right, the fictional currency from NBA 2K. Oh sh- oh shit, what? You stupid fuck, that's not what it stands for. Never mind, I'm being told this stands for Viet Congs. Rice farmers with an arsenal that includes barrels, tunnels, RPGs, and... Hang on, I, uh, I know there's gotta be more. Nope, never mind, that's, uh, that's, that's all they got right there, um... Oh god, we really fumbled the fucking ball here, didn't we? Alright, anyways, the VCs and GIs then go head-to-head -head in one of these one-game modes. Territory campaign is the best way to play this game. The only way to play this game. Territories is basically Rush from Battlefield, except there's a whole hell of a lot more TKing and Napalm. Or in other words, it's actually fun. Basically, the defenders desperately try to survive in their catacombs and string huts, as the attackers wave at them like rabid dogs trying to bring freedom to the good people of Nam. One artillery strike strike at a time. Watch your tickets, watch your time, and watch out for the other lockdown timer, which is a mercy rule for the truly moronical teams that have scouts that refuse to use their smokes, and squads full of simple jacks that don't understand how to sit on a 
fucking objective. Took a whole lot of time just to get up that hill. Just so that your candy asses could pussyfoot in the flower field. I bet you baby bag bitches could suck a golf ball through a garden hose. Show me your aura face and get into that objective where I swear to God I'll make it look like an accident. And the campaign part of that territory's campaign combo is like the that nicotine works. to the cigarette. It's that little piece of the formula that makes you more addicted to the game by offering a larger goal. And that goal is, is Vietnam getting Big Macs now? Or do we gotta wait 40 years until the heat dies down a little? Now, I'm generally not a fan of most Milsim games because they often forget while designing them, they're still video games and not fucking Wii Fit. Making me run four miles through Pepe Landia to find one goddamn crap. What is this, a PlayStation exclusive? Luckily, that is not Rising Storm 2 Vietnam style. They condense most of the maps so that you are constantly engulfed in one giant war crime filled fortunate sun montage. Don't get me wrong, there's still plenty of times where you're running through the jungle and go. <laughs> And then the lights go out. All I'm trying to say is, if you look at Hell Let Loose, you'll realize it could be much worse. And thanks to these smaller, more condensed maps, at any time you can start shooting where you think any of the other 63 targets are gonna be, and chances are you're gonna see your name pop up. But the sound, you know, that deep sound through the whole forest, sounds like... Victory. And I didn't misspeak, there are 63 targets on that battlefield, and now it's time we have the talk. About the UFCs, the ships, the TKs, the AO, my bad fam. You can't have a game with realistic time to kill in a whole lot of jungle, and not expect the friendly fire count to be through the goddamn roof. Yee! Ooh, that was no, you stupid fuck! But the irregular thing I noticed here is that I've played a lot of games with friendly fire, and people always get pissed off about it. But in Nam, the default is forgiveness. Oh, did our fictional Ozzyman commander just bomber run the entire friendly front line? Haha, <laughs> not shield did. Oh, did I just accidentally blind fire murder my teammate through the brush? Oh, sweat it, bruh. Sometimes I do it on purpose just to see. Just to see. But even after admitting this, there is no catharsis. My punishment continues to elude me. For a walking OSHA violation and accidental TK magnet such as myself, I couldn't ask for a more forgiving community. Forgiving of TKing, that is, because these motherfuckers will hold the commander's feet to the fire like they're Gordon Ramsay. I've seen commanders being roll kicked in at least three different languages. Unfortunately for me, around the fourth time I reached level 11, I realized the game had dished me a critical bug that prevented my people from leveling up. And I I had to be level 25 to get commander, meaning effectively that I was shit out of luck. Hang on, future fleek here. Are you or a loved one currently locked at a specific level? Is the man keeping you down? I used to be like you, but then I started using the spamming stats button at the end of every match, and just look at me now. I'm rising through the ranks again. My wife came back. The PTSD is. I never needed commander sitting my fat ass at the map playing the artillery DLC for map quest. You missed me with that shit. Everybody knows you never go full retard. The two best classes in this game are gunner and combat engineer. Gunner is the LMG class that does your teammates the favor of drawing all the enemy sniper attention to you. And after the Epic Games giveaway, there have been mass floods of level zero tags in all the kill feeds because they have yet to discover smoke grenade technology. And I have a gun with a hundred rounds in it. And listen to this because not too many people know this, but LMG stands for Lawn Mowing Guns. And so for this reason alone, I I have to give this class the war crime tier on my official lawn mower tier list. And the combat engineer, of course as Murica, lets you have a vicious pump shotgun. The pump shotgun is the best thing since God created the toaster. This does not kill, this eviscerates. And this game was kind enough to let it have fantastic range, unlike those trash shit guns in the new Call of Duty that can't shoot past my dick. The only limit you have here is the amount of guys you're trying to take on at once. If you encounter a rare 10 VC gaggle fuck cluster, you can get about five with the duck bill attachment. But really at this point, what you need is an upgrade. Because this is what we call in the business an infest. Station. And you know what clears out an infestation? A flamethrower. The flamethrower is the best thing since God created the pump shotgun. I don't think I've ever seen a game actually let a flamethrower be good. But Nam, this shit's like raid for all the roaches that just won't get off your shit. It spews far, you can pre-fire it through windows and doors, and you get an immediate tactile response before the kill even it's the feed. 20 out of 10, the PTSD this weapon has given me was worth. Now let's talk about the helicopter class. If I was actually good at flying helicopters, I'd probably say this is an amazing
in class. However, my first and only experience flying a helicopter went a little something like this. I turned on that tutorial, absorbed the knowledge. I'm like a sponge for wisdom and education. Then zoned out, cut the tutorial short, fired those blades up, gave my fellow flyers an inspiring message, and before they could leave the aircraft, I heaved us into the air, and we were flying, flying high. Boy, you should have seen it. God, I'm a natural, aren't I, guys? But then I realized no one else was flying in the helicopter with me. It was a real fight club moment, and then coincidentally, I got fucking shot. But then the game said, nah, uh -uh, you're not actually dead, and respawned me into the co-pilot seat, but before I could figure out what button it was to change back, Rocket coming! Our tail got blasted off and we were thrown into a violent tailspin for the next two minutes until we clipped through the map and blew up. That is a Vietnam moment right there. God, I love this shit. Now we'll move on to, I'm sorry, did you just say snipers? I despise snipers. Snipers have the average IQ of my left nut. Look, you, you see that sniper right there? How much you bet I can walk up behind him without even noticing? $20? Oh no, 50? Pay up, bitch. What we sniping at? Oh, that's some good shooting right there. Oh, that's some good, that's some good shoot. Hey guys. Hey guys, hey guys, 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 there's a sniper right here. I found him. I'm, I'm pointing at him. He's right here. Five minutes. It took this man five minutes minutes to realize I was here. My point is proven, verified, and sealed. DHL expressed that to my superiors. Uh, and I was gonna run through some strategies, but listen, nobody cares about your flanking maneuvers, playing the point, using smokes. No, 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 no. All that is boring bullshit. What you want to hear about is how the shovel is the best thing since God created the flamethrower. The shovel is an instrument for death. People think this is for digging? <laughs> Wrong. You gotta find yourself a nice little corner, and then you just gotta sit down, and you just gotta wait. Oh boy, you gotta wait. Wait for that prey to come walking down that hallway. Just like a little boy playing with his dick when he's nervous. And then when he least expect it, pounce and whack the fuck out of him. Easy! King Kong ain't got shit on me! See that guy healing? Yeah! But even better than the shovel is the pickaxe. The pickaxe, although traditionally used for building tunnels as a VC squad leader, can alternatively be used as a one-shot melee weapon. This shit's the final form of all weapons. This isn't anything that God created. This is God. Now, another strat is the mortar boomstick strat, where you equip the improvised mortar gun on the sapper class, and then you run to your nearest filthy capitalist and make the magic happen, baby. Sure, you could do this from afar and live, but everybody got to die sometime, Red. And why not prime one day, hand deliver that shit yourself? And I know a lot of people have talked about the bayonet charge, and I'd like to clear up the air about that. Fuck that. I hate that strat. A much better one is the old- Give me a big old hug. And now you give me a big old hug. And if you're willing and able to dodge some malicious tits and ass, then what you'll have on the other side is a truly unique experience. Someday this game's gonna end.